Hey guys, it's Kulki again with another ROM review and this time I've got BAM ROM V2 KitKat edition. That is to say BAM ROM has now moved on to KitKat territory and it's a really awesome ROM. Let's get into it. Um, first of all, something about the ROM. Uh, this is BAM series ROM. If you have seen my earlier review of this ROM in its uh, first version that is v1 you may see a slight bit of difference because uh, the other version had a lot of features right it was based on cm uh, pa paranoid android and aokp this one not much it's not much uh, it doesn't have a lot of features as of as in the 4.3 release but it still has uh, somewhat of a feature so i'll get into that now let's go to settings about phone page here is about phone page you can see it is based on 4.4.2 which is the latest android version kitkat 4.4.2 released uh, just a few days back um bam rom version as you can see it is 2.0 released on 13 12 2013 and i am taking this video on 14th cool uh paranoid android version 3.9 build version this one uh, Science and more version 11 that is unofficial 13 12 version okay again AOKP version JBMR2 thus these are the versions which were made to build this ROM right now uh, let's go to the setting extra settings about BAM ROM if you have used BAM ROM previously you know that BAM ROM is a ROM which is a mixture of uh, Science and mod Panoid Android and AOKP so um, all the features from the all the desirable features from that is amalgamated into one ROM. Uh, there are a lot of ROMs such as that, but BAM ROM is one such ROM which does it uh, good. So it's a good ROM. In this one, however, there are not much options available in the settings menu. Uh, the settings doesn't have all that. You do have themes in that under advanced personalization. Uh, other than that, they are just uh, other the um, KitKat functions, KitKat options, nothing else. So here you won't find much options um, in terms of the CyanogenMod or Panoid Android or AOKP. The options you'll find as a separate app is which is here. You can see BAM controls. That's where all the other options are. It might be a little bright. Yes, I have uh, toned down the brightness, but still, okay. Now these are the options which uh, you had from the other BAM ROMs. Now first of all you have system or UI customization that is from the notification drawer, um, quick access ribbons, contextual notification panel from Omni ROM, auto close behavior. These are the options available here. Now what else? Quick setting panel. You have quick settings uh, here which is this. You can customize what all happens there. Quick pull down, auto close panel, tiles and layout. You can also have uh, different tiles. You can add tiles. You have camera, etc. from Cyanogen mode. This is based on Cyanogen mode. So, my dude does have most of the Cyanogen features. Uh, what else? Sound mode, network mode, etc. are there. These are the quick setting panel. So, navigation bar. Again, you do have navigation bar. This is a AOKP style navigation bar, which uh, is always good. Navigation ring also there is navigation ring for the lock screen. You can use that What else um, clock menu you do have clock widget, which is the clock from Cyanogen mod. So yes, that is available What else? Let's see battery options. You do have a few options to tweak the battery gauge You have circle icon circle with percentage and hidden altogether. So that's there low battery warning is available from this setting UI edition. This is what uh, well, I'm most concerned about. Uh, active display is available. You can select active display, uh, how it should work for you. Uh, I have noticed that this notific the uh, proximity sensor is always on, even though I have selected pocket mode with notification only. Uh, might be corrected in the coming days. So yeah, I'm hopeful for that. You do have list view animations, which is scale and uh, interpolate which is my favorite one of course so I'm using that 
Recent RAM bar is available. You can see the RAM is now at a crazy 579 megs free. Uh, that's because I'm only running one one uh, app. So yes, it is there. Um, notification weather is what you are seeing here. I'm not sure if this is fully calibrated because I didn't get any weather information because every time I click get weather it just it tries to locate my position but then nothing happens I'm not sure if uh, that's working fully styles and colors in lock screen you have all these options too battery uh, battery around unlock ring you might have seen that you do have the green um, battery level on, on uh, at unlock ring uh, kind of like in the Omnirom and CM you do have that uh, enable power menu uh, power menu when in lock screen unlock quick unlock and see through you do have see through option which is kind of cool for people who are using that now lock screen shortcuts you can customize them from here hardware physical keys uh, it does have a whole button hardware uh, rebinding options you can bind everything you can uh, you can see here right allow custom buttons for each and every button that's there cursor controls power menu has whatever you want you need to uh, use in the power menu I have enabled screen record and screen record does work but um, my experience with it you do have another uh, option to select the bitrate and video size uh, something which I noticed with speed, uh, screen recorder is that the recording is slow while the whole phone gets a bit slow you can see that right so I am using it uh, the screen is being recorded it's uh, recording but it's a heck of a slow process so I'm not sure if this is in any way usable or something but uh, it should be usable in coming days okay so yes I'm going to really show you guys that so it's being recorded the voice is not recorded I'm not sure why we may have to make a voiceover with that the voice is not recorded but that is it so uh, I haven't flashed the G apps it comes with the G apps package so that's a good sign uh, I guess that much is it about the ROM uh, I have managed to get the Antutu benchmarks running and it is giving me a score of 18900 something uh, it will load in just a second so about the ROM again yes you can see it is 18939 which is not a bad ranking but considering this is a 4.4.2 version of Android it should have been much, uh, a bit higher uh, maybe well, well into the 20,000 range so well, that's just mine at least the 20,000 range would be cool so, um, so that's there uh, what else about the ROM? That is it. Uh, it doesn't have much things to worry about. It works as in any decent ROM. Right now it's more of a CM ROM than anything else. I don't see much of a AOKP implementation or a Paranoid Android implementation. I, I didn't see any Paranoid Android implementation here. So I need to check that and uh, see where uh, this stands. So, as of now, it is more of a CM based ROM, just like uh, an official Temasek CM with cherry picked applications and uh, things. So, yeah, I guess that much is it. Let me show you guys the boot animation and we'll be off. Here is the boot animation, which is BAM Android and it says KitKat Edition. So, that's there. Uh, the color scheme may be messed up. Oh, no, it's correct now. <laughs> So there's the Android going to space. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess that much is said about the ROM. Nothing much to say. As now it is more of in a uh, development stage rather than a full-fledged ROM. Uh, definitely a daily driver as much as any other CM ROM. This is also a daily driver in that respect. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess that much is said about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and um, like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye